Injecting radioactive isotopes into live rhino horns in a bid to combat poaching. The initiative, known as Project Risotope, was spearheaded by James Larkin, director of Witts University's Radiation and Health Physics Unit. So the idea is to devalue the rhino horn in the eyes of the end user, to make it a, make it a lot easier to track um, going through borders, international crossings. South Africa is home to the majority of the world's rhinoceros population, with an estimated number of 16,000, making it a hotspot for poachers. Rhino horns are highly prized in Asia, where they are used in traditional medicine for their supposed therapeutic effects. In February, the South African government announced that almost 500 of these giant mammals were killed in 2023, representing an 11 percent increase compared to the previous year. We tried to poison the horns. That didn't work. Uh, deer horning doesn't work. Um, nothing works. But this is something you can't destroy. You can't throw it away, and it petrifies people, you know. Oh, it's radioactive, so we got to run. So far, 20 rhinos have received the isotopes. The material will live on for five years inside the horns and are at low enough doses they will not impact the rhino's health nor their environment. Researchers hope the process can be replicated to save other wild species threatened by poaching, such as elephants.